Hi, I'm Michaela Harrison. I'm Riley Westwell. I'm Natalie Harrison. I'm Amanda Marco, and we're from Waverly High School, and this is our poem, Letters to Walt Disney. <laughs> Dear Walt Disney, you completely ruined our favorite characters. You took animations and made them abominations. First off, let's talk about the princesses. Meredith's movie was called Brave. I mean, ignoring the fact that she fought a bear and refused to choose a husband. By simultaneously keeping peace among the plants just preposterous. Her fiery locks are brave all on their own. That was three years of animation. On her hair. She is not a Barbie. She has a stomach. Did you even watch her movie? She took an entire plate of pastry. Not one, or two, an entire plate. She is a fearsome princess and she shoots a bow. Try to change her appearance again and, and she won't be the only one stringing an arrow. Dear Walt, what was so charming about Cinderella's prince? He couldn't even remember what she looked like. They, they danced, danced all night. night. He really had to make every single girl in the kingdom try on the shoe? He couldn't even rule out the brunettes? Dear, Dear Walt, oh bother. Don't even get me started on Winnie the Pooh. Maybe slow down on the honey, Lynn. Your stomach seems horrific. Like, what logic were you using, Walt? Seriously, what are we teaching kids? That rain is black? Like your soul? Or that piglets never grow up? Or, or that tigers, tigers are indigenous to the United States? And why is he so depressed all the time? He's a donkey, the symbol of perseverance. Not, Not a slow doormat with no home delay in front of. Why is Rabbit so insane about his garden? What is he growing in there? And why is he wearing lettuce, a traditionally spring plant with carrots, a late season plant? Was, Was Christopher Robin Pie? Is that what's in Rabbit's Garden? <laughs> Dear Walt, get a clue. <laughs> Why is this the family that's strangely in the supply of honey? Why do you play like, toys need more food than the family that isn't low income enough to receive food stamps? Can you explain that, Walt? Can you explain why everything is bittersweet? Why we turn to your stories in search of comfort? Can you explain why death always follows life? Why we can connect with the loss of Simba's father as, as if you are our own flesh and blood, blood wrapped around our bones? Like the childhood stories you provided us with. Can you explain why these tall tales aren't enough? Why Kuna Matata is just a saying and, and not the way, way we are living. We, we want to have no worries. But you yourself know that is impossible. So you gave us a dose of real life in every movie. Eased us into this world that wants to tear our imaginations to shreds. Made, made us laugh when we thought we would cry. Walt Disney. Disney. You gave us a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. We gave you nothing but critique after critique. <coughs> you told us to wish upon a star. And we saw streetlights instead. So we didn't believe you when you told us that, that our dreams could, could come true. true. And we're sorry. We didn't mean to twist your plots. But they were the mere image of pollution. We turned imperfect works of imagination into flawed cartoons. You showed us we all make mistakes. And we didn't want to believe you. We even falsified by our own miscommunications. So, so we shoved it down, down the throats, throats of people everywhere, expecting them to give up their dreams for the real world. And we are terribly sorry. Yours truly, The Young at Heart. Yeah.